Hello, welcome to Gearhead Arena. My name is Joseph Hewitt and I'm the creator of this game. Uh, it was recently mentioned that there are no real gameplay videos of Gearhead on YouTube, so I thought I'd film this video to show people how the game works and how you play it. Uh, in this first video, I'm going to show you how to create a character for Gearhead. So here we see the main menu. And um, we're just going to go to create a character. The first screen you come up, you can select the mode. In basic mode, the game picks the stats and skill points for you. And in advanced mode, you get to choose all of that yourself. So let's just do basic mode. Select your gender, male, female, or don't try to define me. Let's go with a male character for now. Um, select your portrait. There we go, and you're done. Enter a name for this character. Let's call him um, Bruce. There we go, that's a, that's a good name for a character. And that's as simple as it is. Now, um, I should mention, one of the reasons that we added the basic mode is because there are a lot of options in Gearhead. There are a lot of skills, and um, maybe counterintuitively, uh, taking a lot of skills can actually make the game harder instead of easier. Uh, if you con concentrate on uh, just one specialty, which the basic mode character generally does, uh, that makes the game uh, a little bit easier for beginners. Let's go in and try an advanced mode character, though. Create character, advanced mode. Again, you select your gender. Uh, it says gender has no effect upon your statistics, but may affect how different NPCs react to you. This is actually untrue. Gender has no effect. Nobody will even notice it. Um, you, you might be thinking, hey, but what about my player character's pronoun? The player character is always referred to in second person as you. Uh, um, so not even that. It's a purely cosmetic choice. Uh, select your age. Older characters start with more experience, but younger characters with more cash. Let's go with um, a 23-year-old character. Family history. Your family history has a minor effect. You may inherit an aptitude for certain skills from your parents. Uh, your father was an arena pilot and your mother was a cyber doc. Let's accept that. That's good enough. Allocate stat points. There are eight statistics in Gearhead. Uh, reflexes. Measures race and accuracy. Most of the time, this is going to be your two-hit stat. So I'm going to put it fairly high. Body. Measures your character's size and strength. It determines health, stamina, and uh, also how good you are at uh, close combat. So... Uh, Let's not bother with much of that. Speed measures how quickly you can move and react to your environment. Now, Gearhead is a uh, clock-based system. Every action takes a certain amount of time. The, uh, the faster your character is, the shorter the time that action takes. So uh, a high speed is actually pretty important for a lot of things. Uh, I'll just go with 13. Not bad. Perception. Perception measures your general awareness and spatial perception. It is used to spot hidden models. Uh, I should really update these descriptions because, just as importantly, it's also used when attacking with heavy weapons and missiles. So, uh, again, fairly decent. Craft. Craft measures your aptitude with tools and practical technology. It is used by most of the repair skills. Don't really want much of that right now. Ego measures your character's willpower and self-reliance. It helps determine stamina and mental levels. Uh, this is also the stat that gets used when you are resisting things like poison or other status effects. Uh, so, oh, and also quite importantly, it's also the stat used by intimidation. 
Intimidation is one of the uh, very useful skills to have. We'll see the skills in a minute. So let's go with average. Knowledge measures your general level of education and also your aptitude for studying complex matters. Probably the most important thing about knowledge, it determines how many skills you can take. Uh, you can actually go beyond the knowledge limit, but you start getting an experience penalty and it's probably not worth it. I don't want a lot of skills, so let's go with 10. Charm. Charm measures how charismatic your character is. Now, in a lot of games, this would be sort of your, your, um, your garbage stat, the one you don't put any points in because it's not very important. In Gearhead, actually, charm is one of the most important, right up there with reflexes. And the reason for this is that um, you use charm to get missions, you use charm to determine how many lancemates you can bring with you in the party, you use charm, uh, it determines the price of items in stores. Uh, it has a lot of little uses like that. And it's just overall a very useful thing to have. Done. Okay, now you get to select your job. A job gives you some starting stats or starting skills, and it also increases your starting money. Uh, for example, if you choose to be a banker, you only get one skill point in shopping, but you get a bonus $80,000, which is quite nice. On the other hand, if you choose to be a bounty hunter, you get uh, a bunch of uh, combat skill bonuses, but you don't get any starting cash bonus. Let's go with bounty hunter. Uh, next, you allocate your skill points. You don't have a whole lot of points to go around. You're going to want to get your mecha skills up, probably. Let's go with mecha piloting, mecha gunnery, and uh, mecha weapons. We're going to leave the other mecha skills for a bit later. You're probably going to want uh, to improve your close combat abilities. Let's go with dodge and small arms. And uh, I'm also going to start with the conversation skill and a few points in intimidation. There we go. Done. Select romantic interest. Uh, you can select what kind of a character you're looking for. Are you looking for a man, looking for a woman, looking for anyone, or not looking at all? I should mention right now that Gearhead doesn't really have much in the way of romance plots. Uh, this is a, um, it's a, it's a very underdeveloped part of the game. Uh, the, the main effect of this, it will determine which NPCs uh, are, um, are at all interested in you in that way. Um, so, let's say not looking at all. There we go. Select up to three personality traits. These traits will affect the way NPCs interact with you. If you do not wish to select any traits, choose cancel. Like much of it, everything else, the traits you choose uh, will be uh, altered during the game by the choices you make. So um, uh, most of this character generation stuff, you don't have to worry too much about being locked into the choices you've made. I'm not going to select any traits to start out with. And select a portrait. You can select a portrait for your character, whatever character you want. There we go. Accept portrait. Enter a name for this character. Um, I don't know. Oh, last one was the letter B, so now we start with the letter C. Carla. There we go. And that's how you create a gearhead character. Thank you very much, and uh, a little bit later I'll try to record a video showing the initial gameplay. That's all for now. Goodbye.